All right, this is second grade, module seven, lesson 20. And in this lesson, students are essentially gonna be solving two digit addition and subtraction word problems, but the context for all of these problems are gonna be uh, length measurement, since that's the module we're in. The other thing is for parents and teachers, we're gonna be doing a lot of tape diagrams. So my video is largely gonna focus on how to draw the tape diagram rather than how to solve the problem. So let's get started. So the directions say solve using tape diagrams and use a symbol for the unknown. So parents and teachers, uh, we're going to use like a X or a letter or T or something like that uh, to represent the unknown rather than, you know, the kind of something like a box or whatever. So no boxes. We're going to use a letter instead. So it says Luann has a piece of ribbon that is one yard long. She cuts off 33 inches to tie a gift box. Then the question is, how many inches of ribbon are not used? So the idea is, uh, what can our tape diagram look like? So our, we're going to start with this one yard thing. So let's draw a picture of that tape, uh, of that one yard. So that looks like one yard, and I'm going to put YD, but we got to keep in mind that that's also known as 36 inches. So that's a that's a key thing here, that that is also 36 inches. And let's do that in red. All right, that's a key thing, that it's 36 inches in, um, in length. And so then she cuts off 33 inches. So the reason I wanted inches is because I knew she was going to be cutting off 33 inches. And now we're talking about the same units, 36 inches, 33 units, uh, 33 inches. So I'm going to chop off all of this. And this is 33 inches. And so uh, to tie a gift box, right? And so that's gone. Now the question is, how many inches of ribbon are not used? So that's this part right here. And I'm going to use the letter N for not used. In fact, I'll even write in the word not used. All right, so not. So what is our equation? So our equation is going to be 36 minus 33 equals N. And that's one way to do it. And then we can say that n is equal to 3. Now, parents and teachers, you'll notice I kind of reversed. I flipped. I used the reflexive property uh, to swap the answer, which really would be 3 equals n. And I put n is equal to 3. So don't let that freak out your students. By the way, this is not the only equation students could have come up with. Some students might have come up with 33 plus n is equal to 36, in which case n is still 3. And really, we should call it 3 inches. All right, so there's a couple of options. But here's the tape diagram. That's what the classic tape diagram would look like. Here's a couple of options for the equation. For the rest of the problems, I'm largely going to focus on our tape diagram. So Chris has a 57-inch piece of string and another piece that is 15 inches longer than the first, what is the total length of both strings? So I see two characters. I see one piece of string as one character and the second piece of string as another character. So I'm going to, and I'm using the term character kind of loosely string isn't much of a character. But when I have two characters in the story, I'm going to start off by drawing the two tape diagrams the exact same length. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to read the question again and see if I can fill in some of the blanks and maybe ex um, change and edit my tapes to better match the problem. But I always start with the same size. And then I'm going to go back and says and read the question. Chris has a 57-inch piece of string and another piece that is 15 inches longer. So his first piece of string is 57. So I can label that right there, 57 inches. And then it says his second piece 
is 15 inches longer. That means I need to extend this some arbitrary amount and call that 15 inches. And now, what is this length right here? Well, remember, I started by drawing both of these the exact same length. So this length right here is also 57 inches. And so now the question is, what is the total length of both strings? And so that is this part right here. And I'm going to use the letter T for total. I could put a question mark but they want us to use a symbol. So I'm going to use a cursive letter T to show that's the total. So what's our total? The total is equal to 57 inches plus another 57 inches plus 15 inches. And that is the total because I'm going to add this 57 plus this 57 plus this 15. Is this the only equation that we could have written? Nah, there's other equations that we could have written. Um, but this is one, a classic. Now, by the way, I would probably teach my students how to add this in their head. I would say, well, think of 57 as 50 plus 7, and 50 plus 7, and think of 15 as 10 plus 5. Now let's add up all the 10s. So 50 plus 50 is 100. And 100 plus 10 is 110. And I'm going to write that down, 110. And that's 50 plus 50 plus 10. Now let's add our 1s together. So 7 plus 7 is 14, plus 5 more is 19. So I'm going to add this, this, and this. And we get 19. And now we can add those together, and that gives us 129. That's not the standard algorithm, 129 inches. It's not the standard algorithm, but it's a way to sh demonstrate how um, we want our students to add mentally, in this case, because this is a problem that's easy enough for students to solve mentally. Of course, they could stack the numbers up and add using the standard algorithm, and that would be perfectly fine as well. And the last problem. So we have a total length of all three sides of a triangle is 120 feet. Two sides of the triangle are the same length, and one of the equal sides is equal to 50. So one of those two sides is equal to 50. And then what is the length of the side that is not equal? So we have this length right here is 50 feet. We have this length right here, which is also 50 feet, because we're told that. And then the question is, what is this length that is not equal? All right, so what we can do is we can make our tape diagram. And we know that the entire tape is 120 feet, because it's we're told that right up here. And then we're told that two of the sides are 50, so 50 plus 50 is 100. So we can say, well, two of the sides is 100 feet, and we want to know what is this last unequal side. So I'm going to use the letter U for unequal. So our equation, one way, might be 100 feet plus U feet is equal to 120 feet. So what does u have to equal? u has to be 20, because it's 20 feet. Now another way we could have written it, uh, you could have just taken out those units, like that, and then said u is equal to 20, and that would have been fine as well. Now, are we using algebra here? Well, sort of. We're an informal algebra. We want students to be able to use logic at this point. Certainly not some formal algebra at this point. And that wraps up second grade module 7 lesson 20, solving two-digit addition and subtraction problems involving length by using tape diagrams to help us.